Hello world, it's 8.30 in the morning. It's the 2nd of April 2014. <clears throat> I'm looking at, once again, the chart of today, the Grand Cross, the Moon now, I believe, in firmly in the middle of Taurus and opposing Saturn later today, should bring a bit of stability, particularly at the geophysical level. Uh, over this last week or two, as the Sun's been approaching Uranus and Pluto, there's been more and more earthquakes around the world, but fortunately not the big one. And uh, when I see earthquakes all around the Ring of Fire, i.e. Indonesia, Japan, Alaska, Chile and the West Coast of America, I find myself thinking, OK, they're all releasing medium little ones and the pressure's being released. So the big one isn't going to happen now. Uh, that's my guess. And I do believe that astrologically speaking, the greatest risk of large scale earthquakes for this year is, or at least for the next three or four months is now passed as of yesterday. So looking at the Grand Cross that's ongoing, and I'm particularly looking at the horoscope of Mr. Vladimir Putin. So I'm either being incredibly brave or incredibly stupid by doing this. If you find myself on, if you find my body on a bath somewhere in Britain, in a bridge somewhere in Bath with a poisoned umbrella wound in my leg, you know why. Um, Vladimir Putin was born at 9.30 in the morning, I think. Yeah, in St. Petersburg or Leningrad or Petrograd, whatever you want to call it, on the 7th of October, 1952. Sun, we're, uh, sun in Libra, Moon, Gemini, Scorpio rising. He has Pluto on the midheaven in Leo, which in the I've seen this in the charts of people who are compulsive and obsessive tyrants, who think nothing of treading on people and their urge to get ahead and to be successful, and who become um, devout in their firm belief in what they're doing to the exclusion of all other. I also see Pluto on the midheaven, especially in Leo, in the charts of those people who are born leaders, who are truly noble, who genuinely care for the people that they've been elected or appointed to care for. There's rarely any middle ground. There's rarely a middle of the road politician with Pluto on the midheaven. <clears throat> with Pluto square Jupiter, I find this fascinating because at the moment we have Jupiter opposite Pluto, which is the, op which is the aspect of hot heads, tyrants and extremism. So with Jupiter square Pluto on the midheaven in Putin's chart, there is the potential for him to be all or nothing. Yes, no, black, white. However, it's not all difficult. He has a beautiful Neptune-Mercury conjunction <clears throat> in Libra in the 12th house. And you will, I'm sure, even though I don't know this for truth, I'm sure that in the background he's got a very gentle, delicate, sensitive and aesthetic side that's probably given to something like the spoken arts, drama, theatre, particularly poetry with that. The Sun conjuncts Saturn in his horoscope. Um, in the 12th house of the unconscious, subconscious and potentially secret enemies. Makes me wonder a little bit about uh, how good his security is. He has a beautiful Mars in Sagittarius. Uh, trine Pluto bringing a sense of stamina and optimism. Thing is though, despite all the positives and the challenges in his chart, I think that astrologically speaking, he's at what I call the possibly the most difficult time of his life. The Grand Cross is impacting on his son directly. And indeed, in the coming couple of weeks, Jupiter will square his son for the final time. Uranus will oppose his son. It's one and a half degrees away at the moment. Jupiter's two degrees away from squaring his son. Pluto will square his son. It is squaring his son now. Add to this that Saturn in the sky is squaring his midheaven. As I believe it, on the surface, Vladimir Putin has a pathological Horus, uh, hatred of horoscopes because his wife used to be into it so much. I've also heard that this is hype and spin and that secretly he does have an, uh, astrologers working within um, the Russian Orthodox Church people who are currently advising him now that he's got rid of his oligarchs and his generals. If I were advising Vladimir Putin now, astrologically speaking, I would be saying, watch your back. But there's people in your inner circle who are out to target and shaft and manipulate you and potentially disempower. And I would consider that as Mars comes into the Grand Cross pattern, particularly around the third week of April, around the 20th to the 24th of April, if he were my client, I would be saying to him, look, you're at risk. You're in danger of 
uh, bums, bang, bruises, burns, broken bones, and possibly worse. So be careful. Uh, I, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Even with this Grand Cross finishing in the next month, with Pluto squaring his sun in the background, I cannot see Vladimir Putin as being in the same position of responsibility and power as he is for that much longer. I realise I go against the, theme, the, the, the trend here. Nevertheless, if I were him, I'd be, if, I were, if I were talking to him, I'd be saying, that get ready to take the money and run and start making retirement plans and then go and do something else. But he's not going to be the Premier of Russia much longer. Catch you later. I'll do another one later today. I'll do one tonight on Obama and the Grand Cross. Catch you later. Bye.